It was wild, wet and windy at Ballymore and despite a slight delay, the driving rain did nothing to dampen the Queensland attack. Oh, and this could still fall for Queensland. Chance on now, and it's hit the post. Oh, unlucky for Carla Reuter. Minutes later, Lana Hart went for a run. Hart's just about got a one-on-one -on, -one on a pretty sharp angle. Turns it back onto the left foot. Oh, it's been spilled. Surely it'll be finished this time. It is. And they get the goal that they should have had a few minutes ago. Sydney keeper Rachel Cooper then forgot her surroundings. Oh, yes. She was outside the area. And, uh, I mean, at first look, I thought that uh, Cooper might have made that mistake. A card for Cooper and Alicia Ferguson lined up the free kick. Ferguson. Oh, and she's made a tremendous save, Cooper. If that was goal bound, that was a heck of a save. Cooper no doubt relieved to make up for the error in judgment, but the subsequent corner provided Ferguson with another opportunity. 2-0, there might have been no coming back. It might still be. It is! It's 2-0 to Queensland. From the break, Queensland continued to dominate play. And she was inside her own half, so that was, uh, that was onside, and away comes Butel. Got a one-on-one, -on -one. Butel gets around the keeper and makes it 3-0. Super goal. Wow, that was very well taken. She'd be very happy with that. The Raw continued to pepper the goal, looking for their fourth. Ferguson denied Just here. Another. Oh, tipped over, I think, uh, by Rachel Cooper. Ferguson kept on coming and two minutes later was at it again. An early test and can the shot be on target? It was saved off the line. 15 minutes from time and Sydney were given their best chance She's of the on day. Side. Camus. She turn around and get a shot on or load it up for Ledbrook. Ledbrook onto the right peg. Oh, saved superbly by McShay. Who gets a big pat on the back by keeper Casey Jumon. Queensland are now firmly placed at the top of the ladder, almost two wins clear of the competition, while Sydney have dropped to third. Despite the scoreline, it was the toughest game I've had in a long time, so yeah, credit to Sydney, they did a great job, but I didn't expect it to be 3-0. I think we just took our chances much better, which is what we wanted to do. It's more the state of staying concentrated the whole game, being able to stay focused 90 minutes, come out when you need, take the balls that should be taken, and just support the team, make sure they've got confidence in their keeper.